Hello, and thanks for checking out my review of the new movie Battle of the Sexes, which is obviously about the famous tennis match between Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs, but is really more focused on King discovering that she's a lesbian and dealing with her sexuality. It's also about feminism and the female tennis players fighting for equal pay, but this isn't presented in as interesting a way as the parts about Billie Jean's personal life. But that's okay because that's by far the main plot line in Battle of the Sexes, and it's treated in a very mature way that never feels exploitative. Tennis is really just the hook to tell a much more intimate story. This all hinges on Emma Stone's amazing lead performance, and she carries the film on her shoulders. Her character is much different from who she usually plays, and she definitely loses herself in the role that she spent months training for. Steve Carell is also great at making the audience sympathize with a misogynistic jerk, but he's not in it nearly as much as Stone. It would have been easy to just make him out to be a villain, but the filmmakers wisely avoided that. The parts focusing on Carell as Riggs can feel a bit disjointed, as they are so separate from the rest of the film, both thematically and plot-wise. It is nice, though, to have the more humorous moments with Carell balancing out the dramatic storyline involving Billie Jean King. Battle of the Sexes was directed by husband and wife duo Valerie Ferris and Jonathan Dayton, who made the drama comedies Little Miss Sunshine and Ruby Sparks. It's shot in that standard true story Oscar bait way that leaves little room for visual flair. It doesn't take many chances and stays relatively inoffensive, but that's not that shocking given the subject matter. It can also feel predictable at times, but again, that sort of goes with the territory in the these kind of movies. Sometimes the dialogue can be a little on the nose, but it's generally well written. I give Battle of the Sexes an 8 out of 10 as it's a very solid film with no significant flaws, but probably won't end up as one of my favorites of the year or one of the best picture Oscar nominees. I do think it has some good chances at some other nominations. Emma Stone has to be in the consideration for a Best Actress nomination, but there's lots of competition in that category this year, so it's conceivable she could miss out. The critical response has been strongly positive so far, with Battle of the Sexes getting an 85% on Rotten Tomatoes. Battle of the Sex is supposedly cost around $25 million to make, and has only made under $2 million so far, but it hasn't been wide for very long. That's all for this review. Thank you for listening.